Hello everyone. Welcome back to Harish BI. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a customized landing page for your Power BI app. So let me give you a background. So some of the users prefer to have a landing page where you can have different links or different boxes. When user clicks one of the box or icon, that should take you to the respective report on the same Power BI app. So let's start creating a simple dashboard. And I just named it as landing page. And this is an empty dashboard. Let's start try to add a simple uh, text box. And let's configure this. This is going to be a retail analysis. Click here to go to the report. So I can do some customization, this increase of font and this I can slightly increase and I can make this as center aligned, that's all, click apply. So now we have added one tile, a text box based tile and I can still do a customization, go to dashboard theme and change it to custom and choose whatever color that you prefer. So let's start with this and then change the title sorry tile font color into white click apply so now we have added one box and uh, the intention is when user clicks this it should take you to the respective report in the same power bi app to configure that go to edit details and you will see a set custom custom link choose this option and here you can see link to a dashboard or a report in the current workspace so you have to choose a report which are there which will be included in the app so for now i'm going to choose this first report retail analysis and click apply and go back to the workspace and make sure all are included in the app or whatever is required for you you can include that in the app and click update and go to navigation so as you see here the landing page is added at the last so that's the reason this at the last you can move this to up as a first page or a first report in your app just click update app click update and let's see from end user perspective so end user will see this uh, app and they will see the landing page so they can click this it will take to the respective report in the same app all right let's try to uh, take it to the next level so let's try to add some some more customization so here what else we have so here we have image video web content but all of these require some additional information like you need to add embed code in case if you go with image you need to add a url of the image so to add more customized buttons or a link so let's try to use power bi desktop so here i have created a simple uh, uh, report with this uh, button and then image so let's try to add this into a dashboard to make it more appealing uh, on the landing page and will also give the navigation. So let me publish this to the same workspace. Choose the workspace, click select and uh, this icons.pbx will be published into the same workspace. So now go back to the workspace, wait for a second. Now we have the report. So go, go to this report and you need to pin this uh, button and then image into the dashboard. So by default you will not see the image, uh, sorry, pin, pin option for this image and then button. So you need to make sure the visual header is turned on for this too. So that you can easily pin this, uh, the objects into the dashboard. So I can pin this pinning this to a existing dashboard and again I'm going to pin this same dashboard go back and go to landing page and these two are recently added so let me slightly reduce the size and then same here okay so if you noticed so we have some background colors which we added uh, by going to the dashboard theme so if we don't want to do that, we can change it back to light. So now you can see this is something 
looks like this so let me go back to custom and i will make it make this as a white background so now you can see so we have image and then we have a button on a mouse over this is giving some information right but if you see this uh, uh, coloring this coloring is not retained but that is fine for now let's go back okay we need to add a navigation so by default whenever you pin any object or any visual from a re report so if you click this will take you to that respective report where uh, from where you pin these visuals right. uh, to to customize or to configure it you can go to edit details here uh, you can choose this option set custom link and again the same option link to a dashboard or a report so this is sales coverage uh, button or a, or, a, uh, or a box so i'm going to choose this sales coverage report and same goes here go to edit details uncheck this option set custom link choose this uh, option again and then uh, choose the respective report so now we have added a link for all of this and let's update this okay before update you need to make sure this icons report is added in the app but we don't want to show this to business users so go to navigations and uh, hide this icon report update app update so let's refresh this app okay now you can see so we have this button and then we have image so when i click this it will take you to the report and again if i click this it will take you to the sales coverage so that's good it is taking to the respective report on the same same app it is not opening in the new tab and let's try to do a few more customization so let's see uh, we want to retain these colors uh, in the button what i'm going to do i'm going to customize this theme customize current theme i'm not going to do any uh, much customization so let's try to do some changes because that is not going to reflect anywhere so do the changes and then uh, publish this go home publish this select your workspace replace okay now go back to the report so this is a one okay now if you try to pin let's okay i need to do the changes edit visual header on on save and then let me try to uh, pin this button now you can see tile theming use destination theme so which is based on the uh, dashboard theme if you choose current theme it is based on the current reporting theme so if you have different color set for this uh, button you will see the same color in the dashboard let me pin this and then let's go back to the landing page now we have the uh, same uh, color and visuals so let me delete this and add this here format this and then i can give the edit details with the custom link and take it to the sales coverage apply and then take it here so let's update the app now refresh your app okay now you got very good looking buttons so on a mouse over it is going to give you some information so when user clicks this will take you to this uh, same i mean the report in the same app this is how you can easily customize your landing page for your power bi app and this will impress your business users thank you